Volume test. Volume test. Okay, looks like we're good. Welcome y'all to stream. We are starting off August a day early because why not? Um, might as well. But we are playing um, 60 Seconds re which is like the remastered version. Original 60 Seconds, which I haven't played. Oh, I didn't realize she was speaking out. Which I haven't played it. Oh, they all do. In like a long, 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 long time. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I think we want to do survival. One of kind of adventures. Survive in your fall shelter. Get supplies. Oh, scavenge. Scavenge supplies from your house and make sure the fallout shelter is well stocked. Yes, I think this is no survival included. I'm not sure. Atomic drill, the tutorial. Oh yeah, we should do that. Atomic drill. Learn all about how to scavenge and survive the event of in the event of a nuclear nuclear apocalypse. The tutorial is 100 percent approved by the establishment. Okay, let's begin the adventure. But we're starting August, and our theme focus for August is going to be simulation games, as tagged by Steam. Um, is the easiest way for me to sort. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm very excited um, to, to experience that. Hold the grab control to skip my words, but every time you do, the reds will drop an extra nuke. Okay. Move to the yellow X. Did it. No time to waste something. Good job. There might just be some hope for you yet. Just keep those legs moving. Okay, now where do you want me to go, though? One more time. You know the drill. Mark your living room. Go. Wait, in the living room? Is this living room? No, that's my bedroom. This living room. Okay. Not bad, but you better be in good shape. There's more where that came from. You said last time. Just saying. Fun time's over. It's a matter of life and death now. Go find your son, Timmy, ASAP. Ah, I knocked into the TV. Okay, our wife is in there. Timmy's in his room. There's a layout of your house. I bet you the reds know it too. Oh, okay. Can I pick him up? Oh, yep, two hands. Family comes first. Grab him. Show your cozy shoulder. Okay, wait, where do we... Oh, down here. In the family with you, I leave the exact priorities to you. Okay. Can I pick you up too? Oh. They won't let me. Find highlighted soup can. Um, there's one in here. Is that it? No. Um, the highlighted soup can. Like, that has to be the specific one. Um... They don't look highlighted in here. Is there one in here? I can grab it when you find it. Keep digging. I don't see a highlighted one. Oh. Through the wall. It didn't look highlighted in here. Okay. Some choices can stay to family for for a day. Okay. One soup can. A whole day of food for the family. Can and Tommy Shelter also needs a supply of water. Hunt for some bottles. There's some up here. Can I grab those? No. Is there a highlighted one again? I don't love the angle this is at. There's also no music in this part apparently, it's just her playing the trombone. Which, I mean, sure, I guess. Is it this one? No. I don't know which one. Um, I don't see one in here at all. One in here? Yeah, I believe you all need it. I just don't know which one you're wanting me to grab. Can I go outside? No. This one? No, not that one. It's a big bathroom. Oh, here we go. Got it! No, that's enough water for now, but you've got yourself a problem, Buster. What is my problem? <coughs> you can only carry so much, and every item weighs at least one slot. You need to drop whatever you're carrying in the hatch before you can pick up more. Yes. How do I do that? Sure, it's kind of slow. There we go. Whenever you're near the hatch, drop all items you have. There's a good chance they'll survive the fall. Okay. How can I pick you up? Nope. Migo, you've got yourself a small stockpile of food, water, and even a little Timmy. Yep, you do. No 
telling us how long you'll be staying down there, so you'll need a radio. Um... Ah, here we go. Okay. That's it. Nothing more useful than the news from the radioactive outside world. I suppose. <laughs> Guess it's good to have. Click five items and drop them off in the shelter in time. You should extra seconds before the siren sounds to scout your surroundings, but after it goes off, you need to start packing. Okay. So I'm assuming it'll go off. Our incredibly advanced warning system gives you 60 seconds to scavenge what you need and get yourself to safety. Let's give it a try. Okay. I wonder if the things actually move around in the house or not. Items, family member, and family members in the 60 seconds. Make sure you find yourself. Let's just shelter when time is up. Can we get left by him? Put her down. Let's grab our wife. Can we grab these? No. Nope. Grab the map. Does the map just take up that much room? That was only one. Grab the water. Ah! Let me through. Just about half of our time. Oh, more food. More water. That's all good stuffs. Oh, more food. Seems like a good idea. Not sure. Oh, apparently I'm not gonna grab the gun. Game does not want me to do that. I'm probably just misaiming. Oh, there we go. We're able to get it. And I don't know that I want to risk not being close. All right. We did it. We did it. I don't know if we got what we needed though. I don't know if it even counts for this one. I guess we'll see. <laughs> see you downstairs for survival training. At ease. Okay, cool. So we will get we will get a tutorial on that part too. <coughs> I like that it's just in a room in their house. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Med kit. For all injuries ranging from paper cuts to decapitations. Decapitations. How would that work? Day one. Hello. On my notebook. Ah, day one. You made it to the shelter. Congratulations, but the drill's not over yet. You'll end up here with whatever and whoever you brought with you. Nothing else. You'll need to make the most of it. The next few days will teach you how to survive down here while the world outside burns. Explore and interact with your surroundings. You can always find out useful things about your shelter and its inhabitants when your survival journal journal is not open yet or hidden. First things first. We must ration food and water. If you don't, well, don't wine and dine yourself. And the folks you've brought with you, you can bet your bottom dollar none of you will ever see the light of day again. As long as you have food and water available, ration it out to give to a given person by selecting the picture of a can or bottle of water under their portrait. Or instantly ration out both by clicking on the character's image. Of course, you might save your supplies for later, but a normal person can only survive four days without water. As, f as to food, the longer you deny your people rations, the weaker they will get and might eventually get sick. Even if you manage to cure them... It will take you quite a few cans and a lot of time to replenish their strength. Time to ration supplies. So we could give them all that. Okay. So it was, so this was the day rations. Oh, we can't do our backpack yet. Since this is your first day down here, you'll need to get used to surroundings. Believe me, ventilation hum can drive anyone nuts if you don't occupy yourself with something to do. Get some decent rest and we'll carry on tomorrow. Night, night. And our goal is to survive the drill. Alright, fair enough. Day two. He's already got a five o'clock shadow. Holy heck. Good morning, survivalists. Hope you slept well. Bed's comfy enough? No? Well, better get used to it since you're staying here for a while. We'll start today's activities by rationing since you need to do it every day, but after that we'll move on to something else. Got your attention? Good. Now listen, there's a risk th you will run out of supplies eventually. Everything can be useful, but food and water are critical to your survival. If they're gone, you'll be gone sooner than you can say corn dog. So sometimes you'll need to send people to the surface to bring in more supplies. You do this by preparing an expedition a day before it actually departs. Be careful though, tired survivors can never be part of an expedition. Today we'll skip preparations and jump directly into sending someone brave outside. Ted is fine, Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying so out loud. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. And nothing to, new to report with Timmy. Okay, we're going to ration them all for this time. 
Okay, and then should we go outside? Uh, let's send Timmy outside. I think he'll be okay by himself. <clears throat> I don't know how much we actually have any control over his activities outside. Day three. This is a drill, so your explorer will come back after a little while. But in the event of a real apocalypse, they might be gone for a couple of days. In the meantime, you'll be faced with other problems that'll test you to the limits. I'm talking about making decisions that can break even the best of men's moral spine. We'll see wh what clay you're made of, but first, ration your food and water. We don't want anyone starving now, do we? Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know when. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who won it in this coffin-sized shelter? Dolores is quite calm given the situation. Fair enough. Can't ration him. Ooh, scenario. I'm an army man, so I don't know a second, or a second thing about imagination. But you could possibly use yours now. Picture this scenario. You come across your kids' hamster, who has, in some bizarre way, found its way to the shelter. The kids are obviously going to love it, and so will you. There's nothing better than food that comes to you on its own. Now it's up to you. Do you cook him? And I don't want to, but I don't think we'll be able to feed him either. That seems like a bad thing. I don't think it'll cheer up the kids to watch him starve to death. I don't think. Day four. Good choice. Everyone had a bite, and a fresh meat will do. Will not be as easy to come by in the days ahead. Best to take any chance you can get to eat. Believe me, you will find yourself and your family in much more dire circumstances than this. And there won't be a hamster around to save your ass. Ted seems to be doing alright. Even though the world has come to... Or gone to sh a crappy place. Mary Jane is feeling safe. And Dolores is doing quite well. Or she just can't find anything to complain about. I mean, fair enough. Our friendo is not back yet. We need him to come back. Maybe face with decisions that require you to use your equipment. However, sometimes you may might find you don't have the one one item that was supposed to save the day. So make sure you scavenge the right supplies before the blast. Keep in mind, every item can be used for something. What do you want to do today? Clean a rifle? Listen to the radio? Or maybe play shadow bunnies with a flashlight? Um, let's do the radio. See if we can find out any news. Was that him coming back? Hey, he's back! Hello. The radio is critical to establish, establishing communications with the U.S. Army, as well as for listening out for any trouble that might be headed your way. If you get lucky, might, maybe you'll catch some music, too. Good news, everyone. The expedition is back. Sometimes they'll return with extra supplies, sometimes they won't. Other times, they'll come back with a nasty injury or even radiation sickness. Believe me, you don't want to get those. I hear glowing in the dark isn't as fun as it sounds. This time, your explorer was hurt, but they will recover after the proper use of a first aid kit. You can use one during rationing. Timmy got hurt, and Timmy is very hungry. Ted seems to be doing all right. Mary Jane is feeling safe. And life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. I hope so, too. So we can use the med kit on him. I can't ration everyone. Oh, no more water. Well, this sucks. You need at least one adult alive to keep going. If you send your only survivor to the surface, you won't know what's happening in your bunker until they come back, and when they do, your shelter might already belong to someone else. A decent padlock may protect it, but not for long. Um, this was a busy day. Take your time to get some sleep. If you made it this far, you're doing great. And have a chance of getting out of, out of the foxhole. Hopefully soon, but don't quote me on that. Fair enough. So we don't have enough supplies. So, I mean, that's not good. That's not good at all. We can actually look at things. Oh, I don't know that I need to mark the map. Can we unmark the map? Apparently not. What else can we mess with? Can I turn the radio off? Hungry. The rest of them don't say anything. <laughs> we only just sent someone outside, but let's give it another go today, shall we? The first time you were only asked to pick one unlucky, uh, one brave volunteer to save the day. This time you'll you'll also get a chance to equip your explorer with some useful gear. Feed your troops and um wait, feed your troops and I'll see you at the shelter entrance. Timmy should eat something. Timmy is healed up. There isn't much going on with Ted. Mary Jane still feels safe and Dolores is fine thus far. Um, you need food. I'm gonna give you food too. Let's see. Um, let's send both kids. Oh wait, did only really select one? I'm just gonna send both of them. Oops. Oopsie, all her hair looks all messed up. 
morning people you're probably asking yourself one simple question what's the point of sitting in this atomic shelter why don't i just leave well leaving is a death sentence if the radioactive sickness doesn't kill you then the giant scorpions will oh god i would not be nice would not be nice at all you can trust me on that your one chance is our boy our boys arriving to rescue you so every good citizen needs to do one thing seek contact with the u.s military and await a response timmy went out into the wasteland dolores has to drink sometimes Ted is fine, Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. Fair enough, we have no rations, which is unfortunate. No, 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 the rescue ain't coming today, but we'll come get you eventually. You need to keep your radio operational and be ready to venture into the wastes. However, you also need to be careful. It might not be only our soldiers out there. There could be bandits or worse. Alright, fair enough. It says I'm about two knocks. Being the key to knowing it's them. He came back with some food. Some poison? Is that what that was? You need to remember that some days will be very intense. A lot of things will happen that you'll need to be prepared for. That's why any day that gives you a break is a blessing, and you'll need to make sure you make the most of it. Eat, drink, and relax while thinking about all those commie bastards who don't have comfy bunkers like you. That thought always gets me through the day. Huh. Yeah, Timmy came back. Our station wasn't exactly abandoned. It's habited by a group that uses bullets as currency. They were armed and not overly friendly, but there's, there are no bandits either. They're allowed, they allowed us to take a look around as long as we didn't touch any of their stuff. Near the metro entrance, we discovered a tomato soup vending machine. Of course, we left most of our change in another pair of trousers, but we took what we could. So two soup. The metro station traders took a special liking to our clothing. We were always proud of our dress sense, but in... In our opinion, during the apocalypse, you never say no to a package of fresh ammunition. Also, you can probably manage just fine without your undergarments, so we quickly came to an agreement. Okay, so we got bullets. And there was a small maintenance area next to the ticket booth. We were hoping to find a bit of soap to finally wash ourselves. The only thing we could find there was a can of bug spray. Uh, okay, cool. Um, they can all eat, yeah? Okay. Keep your shelter stocked and remain cautious. You should be okay. However, every choice you make may come back to bite you on the ass. Even after a few days or weeks. Great. Consider your options carefully. This is a drill. But if the nukes start dropping, it'll be a totally different story. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Day 9. I don't think our actual first run is going to go this, this well. If I were you, I'd check the door. Our extraction team might be coming for you any day now. Be careful. This is a post to lock post-apocalyptic scenario and you never know what's coming Dolores will, will not survive without water any longer Timmy should eat something Ted looks like he got sh he got one foot in the grave he needs to drink right now he feels like fainting yeah I don't have any water for y'all though so I in fact cannot help you with that someone's at the door you can hear several knocks if you listen closely you can make out sequences of three knocks I think it's a two so no I might be wrong. <laughs> Good call. That wasn't the knock you were waiting for. Caution at all times. Remember that. Be cautious. Apply yourself. And maybe you and your family will be just fine. Or at least most of you. Yeah, this is not good. Day 10. Talks about now. He must be hungry. Oh, Timmy doesn't need much. He should drink. Yeah, they all need water. I don't have any though. As you were counting imaginary sheep in your head, another series of knocks broke your concentration. Someone is really hammering on your door and probably not taking no for an answer. Two knocks, two knocks. The pattern keeps repeating. Yes. Yay. We completed the tutorial. That's exciting. The end. Good job. You're safe and sound with your brave with our brave soldiers. And now we can all have some apple pie. You deserve it. We held out for eleven days. Nice. Nice. We survived. Granted, just the tutorial, but we survived. Yay. <sighs> Can be stored for up to 737 years. That's a long time. Okay. So the new game. Challenge to protect your post office skills and unlock fancy rewards and these special challenging adventures. Interesting. Full atomic experience. Found around your house for supplies and survive. Yep, that's what we want to do. Um, I, I want to be Dolores. That's fine. It's like difficulty. Uh, serration time. Scavenge time. Stocked shelter some junk. Shoes 
Most common, average, online visitors, some trouble often. Oh, it's terrible. Let's, let's start with just the easy, easy mode. <sighs> At least for now. Okay, I do think I want to bring Timmy. I have water in here too. It's like water and soup. I think. Yeah. I can grab these too. Grab Timmy. That delay of us grabbing things is rough. Um wrong way. In there. We're gonna grab that. Oh, here's more. Oh, grab the water. The controls are running around. I think I'm gonna have to get most used to. Let's get more soup. Let's do the gas. Oh, I wanted the grass mask. But that's okay. I guess we're taking that with us too. What are those other oh, bugs? I wish we could put things back. I don't think we can though. Okay, more food. We gotta risk it to get more water. Oh. Alright. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, got two achievements. Get to shelter before the bomb hits and live through the nuclear blast as Dolores. Perfect. Since we went with her. I like that this game has a lot of achievements too. That's always a fun time. So I think for a few days we're going to play this. And then we're going to check out the 60 Parasex. Which is like the space version of this game. Which I think would be fun too. Timmy is safe and that's what matters. We barely got here in time ourselves. We have no idea what happened to Mary Jane and Ted. Maybe they're okay. We can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter. But we're not complaining. Probably should have stocked it better anyway. So we have a bug spray, uh, something? I'm not sure what that is. A chessboard. Hey, look what we found in the suitcase we grabbed upstairs. Good thing we didn't unpack our holiday luggage. Radio and a gun. Oh, wow. Why do we take a gun on holiday, exactly? Our shelves are full of cans. Um, we'll eat from cans, we'll sleep on cans, we'll even talk to cans. Some, some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. True. Alrighty, and I figured the end of the day bringing less of us means supplies will last longer, right? We always thought life could be much better. That was before we got nuked. Now we think life could be much better. In a way, not that much has changed. Fair enough. Day two. Okay, what's the other thing we want? Oh, it's a harmonica. Let's see what the different sound effects are. Okay, anyway. Memories or not, we need to keep our heads clear and get a grip on reality ahead of us. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. Timmy was on his best behavior. How long will it last? Hopefully a while. I'm so highly radioactive. Just right now. Um, oh, it seems like a bad idea. Um... I don't think we want to do it tomorrow. Surviving these conditions, let's hope this will be over soon or else we might end up dead in some wasteland dish. That's not something we're looking forward to. Yeah, that would not be fun. We'll let it die down a little more. We'll see if that actually helps. Being stuck in such a tiny shelter would make anyone a bit apathetic. We need to stay calm and await the rescue. Surely they're coming for us, right? Dolores is fine and well. Um, Timmy seems okay. Fair. Um, we're gonna skip water for one day for the two of them. Let's do an expedition. And we're not alone, there's a huge- wait. Start preparing an expedition for tomorrow. Can we choose who, or just- okay. Oh. Not alone, there's a huge hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding in one of the pipes. It's been poking its head out, I our measly food stash. We can we can't let it get to it. We can't let it be in here when we sleep. Uh, let's try the axe. I'm sure about shooting a gun in such a small space. It seems dangerous. Okay, our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. 
Guess we'll still top, we're still top of the food chain. Good for us. <laughs> Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood. Timmy's on his best behavior. Okay. Okay, both rations today. Choice for today's expedition. Which one of us is best fit to the wasteland? We're gonna send Timmy. Um, yeah, I want to send him with the gas mask. Hold on. Go back. Oh, if he takes the briefcase, you can take more stuff. I see. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, can you go backwards? Okay, give him the gun, and then we also want to give him the map. Hopefully he'll come back, because that's a lot of stuff. But here's hoping. Ooh, we got survive five days in your fallout shelter. Nice. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know, um... I don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. That's the equipment he took. Dolores is doing okay. Perfect. What the hell are those sounds? Are they coming from the, the walls? They're driving us crazy. Is something crawling in the air vents? Relax. Take a deep breath. We should probably calm down before we start tearing, tearing them down. Maybe try something relaxing. Okay, we didn't bring the cards, but we did bring the chessboard. Cool. Or checkers. Sorry. I don't know how calming playing checkers by yourself would be, though. Uh-oh, still not back. <sighs> okay, so that helped us. Good. Probably day spent down here. We're not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. It didn't bother us until we noticed it, and now we're about to get sick. So why not take a shower? We don't have soap, but there are all alternatives to consider. Uh, I don't know how ammo is going to help us. I guess we'll just spray the bug spray, see what that does. Break or use something in your fallout shelter. Oh, huh? we did use something. There's a little spray paint on the wall. See that? We finally have a good use for that bug spray we, we brought down. It probably smells better than we do, so we can use it to be a bit more presentable. Smell-wise, anyway. Uh, life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood. He's not Brock yet. That makes me very nervous. Say these walls with our other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. We have to deal with this as soon as possible. I mean, I don't have anything to help with that right now. I'm sorry. He's so sad. Day eight. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we w we're even more tired than we were, and there are other problems we need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickness. Everything seems okay. Just okay? Okay. Your son's not back yet. That trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is, we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. Yet, for some reason, we would like to tidy this mess up. Those giant green cockroaches are a pretty good motivation. And we do not have anything we need for it, unfortunately. Oops. Oopsie. He's still not back. It's very bad. Oh, look at the cockroach. Wait, can I put this away real quick? Ew. Does any of this stuff actually help? I don't think it does. Okay. Oh my, that thing is huge. And there and there goes another one. We're just everywhere. We're doomed. We already feel dirty. That's not good. There isn't a lot of space down here and we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks got loose today and revealed a hole, we felt pretty sick. It's a smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source? I guess so. Let's see what it is. Kind of learning what the scenarios are at the moment. And then we can make more educated decisions later. Oh my gosh, he came back! We looked into the hole fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated and sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him, so we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much, and we got a new can of soup. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Okay. The majority of the local gas station was destroyed. Gasoline reserves blew up too and probably did more damage than the atomic bomb. The only thing left intact was the cashier's booth, along with some cars and the gas price board. Or or not, prices are still going, growing every day. Wow. There was an abandoned truck in line for the gas pump. We immediately recognized the logo of a well-known company on its side. Yep, the canned soup company. Okay, we got another one. A few water bottles were scattered around in the cashier's booth. None of the explosives damaged them. Though it is funny how that pipe shadow got burned into the wall. So we got one water. 
Chicken sandwich in the cashier's booth and some bug spray. Cool. So much for the rifle. It got damaged during the expedition. Oops. And our map really took a beating during the expedition. It's nearly unusable now. That's not good. Swishing got us thinking. Maybe we could just drive away from this nightmare somehow. Of course, most of the automobiles available are completely burnt out. But if we find a solid base and scavenge enough parts, perhaps we could build a vehicle of our own. It's really hungry and tired. I mean, that's fair. He drew our daughter. Oh. Actually, not give you water today. We're gonna have mom go out tomorrow. First meal that didn't feature tomato soup when we heard yells outside. We discovered they came from a small group of ragged survivors. They were a sorry sight, and we weren't surprised when they requested aid. They asked us to provide anything we could water, food, or medical supplies. We have the most food, so we'll give them food. Wow, the rifle really did get beat up back there. Jeez. That's terrible. <laughs> and yeah, map is a bit destroyed. No bueno. Our visitors had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. Many tears were shed, smiles and hugs exchanged, and they wished us all the best. It's a great feeling to be helping someone out. They left soon after to seek shelter in the ruins of our town. We hope they they make it out. Wait. We hope they make it out there. Minus one food. He's still very hungry and still isn't rested. Why haven't you rested? Dolores is quite calm given the situation. I mean, fair. Why isn't he resting? Give you the gas mask. Um. Was it because I didn't give him the ammo? I just realized. Yeah, I. Yeah, I just want you to take the gas mask. There we go. Do, 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 do. Damage rifle. Can we just use the bug spray? That'd be nice. Surface, let's hope she'll make it back safe. I hope so. Why haven't you rested? Rest. I don't know how to make him rest. I won't organize the Oh, yeah, yeah, bug spray. Finally, get rid of the roaches, maybe. That would be fantastic. It's gone. It worked. We've won the battle and maybe even the whole war. After the massacre was over, we tidied up the cockroach remains and dumped them next to our shelter door. Let that be a warning to all the other insects out there. Don't mess with us. Nice. There we go. For an isolated fallout shelter, we sure have a lot of disturbances. Something has been making a lot of noise since, da since dawn and we couldn't sleep. It seems to be coming from under the floor and coincidentally, we just found a manhole that we could use to go down and check it out. Try it. Let's find out, since we have an axe at least. Don't know if it'll work out at all, but why not try? He's alive. Amazing! We had a pirate cave right under our house. It was filled with treasure of sorts. Too bad we only had time to grab a map before the place collapsed. Luckily, it didn't have any impact on our shelter. Plus one map. Timmy keeps falling asleep in his chair. He needs a few days to rest. Then rest! Three people dressed in green pajamas knocking on our hatch is not something that we anticipated. This is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted they are merry men and wish to take from the rich and give to the poor. We're pretty poor. So I could make some new friends? Should we let them in? Uh, no. That sounds like a terrible idea. Let's, let's not do that. Mom's still not back? We didn't answer those peculiar calls and kept the door locked until the noises outside faded away. We're not exactly sure we want those people to come back. They sounded harmless enough, but can harmless people be trusted in these troubled times? They might be worse than those who don't seem harmless at all. Timmy keeps falling asleep in his chair. He needs a few days to rest. Then you should do that. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as, far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Yeah, let's listen to the radio. Maybe we will learn something. Mom's back? She's back. Yay. Good news, the government made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from our area. The announcer asked everyone listening to wait a while longer and expect further communication in a few days. We'll be out of here soon. Glad Dolores came back safely. Yep. We found the Tencent Hotel in ruins, but there was plenty to look through. Pieces of furniture, suitcases, and other hotel surprises were scattered all over the place. Now we know the secret of their restaurant chef. It's tomato soup. No wonder they were a five-star hotel. <laughs> People really like tomato soup. We have a game called, I think, Bunker? <laughs> On Switch, we could play too. That's in the same vein. Like 
be fun. The room was stocked with water bottles for guests. A few of them remained relatively untouched by the explosion. We took one. Okay. One of the luggage bags was filled with a wide array of, of different flashlight models. Excited, we tried them all, but only one was in working condition. Cool. Damn it. Our gas mask was damaged during the expedition. That is unfortunate. That's okay. We window shopped to nearby parking lots for a vehicle that wasn't completely burned out. Unfortunately, we found nothing of value. Maybe future expeditions will be more lucky. Yep, Dolores is very tired. And Tom finally rested. Um, we're gonna give you water, but not food. No expedition for a day. <laughs> See how this goes. Ring, ring. There we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again, when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go and answer? Uh, no. I don't think that's a good idea at all. That sounds like a trap. Like, for sure. Sounds absolutely terrible. It's way too dangerous to just randomly run to a ringing phone in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. We're not taking any chances. It took a while before the ringing stopped. It was pretty annoying for all of us. Dolores has not eaten for a while. I, gave, I just gave you food. I'm still tired. No good news. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. Fair enough. There you go, y'all. Um, we are gonna prepare an expedition tomorrow. It'll be fine if it wasn't for Dolores. She doesn't seem well. She used to be so energetic and happy. Now she just sits there and sulks. We should do something. We do not have any options, unfortunately. Well, I'd be pretty depressed too. Like, just saying. <laughs> it seems like an actual, like, normal reaction to this situation. Times are hard and there are little we can do to keep everyone's morale up. Let's save our energy for later. I just keep saying she hasn't eaten for a while, and she, like, quite literally has. Um, let's have you take the axe with you. Hopefully she doesn't get in trouble. But it's a risk we're gonna take. Day 19. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Dolores is tired. She should definitely sleep. We're gonna skip one day of rations for you. It's been a while. We don't know much about what's going on on the surface. Yes, the radio. What does this one say? Instructions. Oh, yeah. Listen to the radio. Might as well see what's going on. Senior fellow shelter for 20 days. Woo! It's not bad. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Dolores complained she still can't get a good night's sleep. I'm sorry. Hopefully our son will be back soon. Before the world turned into an unforgiving dead wasteland, we were friends with almost everybody in our town, including the old man Jim, who would shamble through our street often and always say hello. When we wanted to visit him once, he gave us an address that took us to a park. Old man Jim is such a joker. It appears that he survived the blast since he's at our door right now asking if we want to buy a rock. And we can ask. I don't know what we have for him, though. Hopefully he doesn't make us give him food. That would suck. <laughs> be no bueno. Morse code. We opened the door and greeted the old man with a smile. He was eager to show us his bag filled with a rich choice of rocks and convinced us to take one for free, for old time's sake. We agreed, carefully chose the best looking rock, and the man left. We can't complain. It's a good rock, really. Also, he claimed it brings luck. We'll see about that. You're resting now. That seems lucky. Um, we're gonna give you water and not food. Time to listen to some radio chatter. Yep. And hopefully the sun will come back. No door sounds? Dang it. That's unfortunate. We were able to tune in and get rid of just enough static to listen to a very energetic and lively speaker. He seemed well informed and mentioned a few helpful tips that should make it easier for us to survive the next expedition. That's good. We really need our son to come back, though. It's become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the last couple of hours. We suspect there's something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe it got stuck somewhere, but how? We need to investigate. Well, good thing we have a flashlight. So we can do that. I'm 100% sure I would not survive this situation in real life, though. I would be so scared. The obvious thing to do when a vent is blocked is to check what's blocking it. However, when you shine your flashlight on a hive of mutated insects, things usually go from bad to worse. The angry hive is gone, but the insects did some biting before they fled. That's not good. And we do not have a med kit. Um, you're gonna have to go at least a day without water. 
We were looking through our map, we came across a few markings that were not original. Someone had added a pointer to a location near us. What would we find there? We don't know. Maybe it's worth sending someone to check it out. Maybe Timmy will come back tomorrow and everything will be okay. <laughs> or it'll, it'll be alone. Oh, she came back. The map directions weren't too hard to follow. We found our way to one of our neighbor's backyard and dug under one of the trees. We discovered two, f two food cans. That's what we call a successful treasure hunt. Nice. Yeah, I mean, that is good. Played a game of list the things you hate the most and our neighbor's name kept coming up for some reason. That reminded us that the little weasel had a safe in his living room. We always wondered what's inside. Maybe now's the time to find out. No, that seems like a bad idea. It's probably just like normal money and stuff. Why is he not back yet? <sighs> Gosh, take it. Started against a risky endeavor. Even if the safe is intact, the contents are probably as boring and just as much of a waste of space as Ned was. Oh, there's injuries. We don't have a way to. There should be some water left. Yeah, she needs water. Give her the last of it. Today the music from the radio stopped abruptly and instead we got to listen to a transmission from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation, but it turns out there's something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that we're alive somewhere in the area. The exact location was given in geographical coordinates. We need a map. Okay, perfect. Glad we got a repaired one. Oh, is he back? Yay! Whoa! Look at that hair. Oof. A quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. We left the message um, in a bottle. Smart. We were afraid. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now and brought the axe back. Theater means actors, and where you find actors, you can easily run into mimes. And so we approached the theater on our tiptoes. But in the end, we decided our need for supplies was greater than our fear of mimes. So we bravely went in to explore. This must have been one boring play if the only props being used were bottles. The scene was practically filled with them. Thankfully had some water in them. We got three water, that's great. I expected the theater cafeteria to be in a sorry state. Surprisingly, the atomic blast um, spared most of it and we were able to admire their selection of foods. It was very vivid, small, medium, uh, oh, small, medium or large cans of tomato soup. We felt large cans were meant for us. We took two soup. Some fun playing around with different theater props and outfits. We didn't look especially fabulous in any of them, but we took a padlock from one of the boxes as a souvenir. Oh, that's good. Yep, she needs to get better. She's no longer thirsty. He's just tired and everything. You need all that. You take food. <gasps> um. Yeah, we'll send mom out again tomorrow. We thought phone calls were a thing of the past. It's ringing again. No, I still think it's a bad idea. I just, I don't think it's a good idea to go do that. Not at all. It's it's way too dangerous to just randomly run to a ringing phone in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. Right, though? There's nothing we can do about her injuries, unfortunately. Um, she is going to go and have her take the axe as well. I think that's a good idea. Maybe I was wrong. We'll find out. Lors is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it. I hope so too. Oh, did we get another one? Oh, because I finished this one. Okay. Timmy noticed his old telescope and a pile of rubble on the other side of the street. He got really excited about stargazing again. After all, the night sky is one of the very few things that still look about the same after the blast. Can we go out to the stars pointlessly at the sky? Sure. I'll probably help his mood a lot. We'll find out. Might have also just been a bad idea. Timmy returned in the morning, tired but very happy. He says he saw a spaceship flying by, one with an American flag on it. Surely that can't be true. He probably make he's probably making things up. Time to grow up, Timmy. I mean, is he though? Yeah, he needs to rest now though. Which I ain't fair. There's never a good time to go out into the radioactive wasteland, but it seems this will become a necessity in this this new world of ours. We thought it would be a good idea to make this happen sooner rather than later and plan a trip outside. We had a third step beyond the shelter doors, an unknown creature showed growling at us in the darkness. Let's decide what to do. Well, all we have is the flashlight, so <coughs> I guess we'll use it. The dog bark? Is it just a doggo? Actually, use that. Maybe it prompts us if we both leave. 
care what's coming for us with a flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog. The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. The next morning, we opened the door to let it out. It still hasn't returned. Hopefully, it will come back later. Aww. Yeah, hopefully. Sleazy-looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. He offered us a simple one-time deal. For just one can of soup, we get we get the bag and all of its contents. Let's try it out. Let's see if it's a good deal. Since we haven't come up on that before. Find a new companion. Oh, it's a kitty! Sharkov? Sharkov? Pretty name. As soon as the door closed behind the trader, the bag started to violently shake, emitting screeching hellish sounds. Terrified, we backed up against the walls. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to just be an angry house cat. The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. Its collar says Shark Sharkov. Is that its name? Timmy still isn't rested. Timmy, rest. So this is what it's come down to, sitting idly in the shelter with very few supplies and a growing sense of impending doom. If only there was something we could do about it, like breaking into our neighbor's shelter. We know the lock is broken, and we saw her restocking the shelter before the bomb fell. Should we go? Yeah, let's check it out. I want to see how this decision goes for us. Show your evil self. I got a dark side achievement. <gasps> okay. Why is, there, why is there a bloody handprint? Our mom came back, though. We are now richer in some supplies, but for some reason, we don't feel very good about it. Let's just never mention the whole thing again. We got four food. Let's see Dolores come back safely. Brought the axe back. Who are you going to call when the world is on fire? The fire department. We were thrilled to find the place still running. Firefighters redecorated the place and redid their outfits. Most of the walls were messily painted in black and red, and the firemen helmets now have a grim school symbol on them. We never thought our local firefighters had such artistic souls. So alternative. Near the garage, we found a few firefighters shooing off some giant mutated cockroaches with a fire hose. We joined in on the fun and managed to fill some bottles with water in the process. Nice. Our little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. Ah, oh, yep. Sif needs to rest. She needs to rest, too. I still can't help that she has injuries, though. Nope, no expedition. A small muddy pond in the park nearby. Too bad we forgot our fishing rod. Perhaps we could try to fish something... Nasty water using the suitcase. Uh, no, nah, let's not. Let's not do that. Actually, sounds like a bad idea. Are they both sleeping? I mean, they should be. One dip in the radioactive water would probably destroy the suitcase, so we decided against this stunt. Can't stop thinking about the delicious mutated fish we could have for dinner tonight, though. Oh, well. I mean, I don't think... I don't think they'd be a good idea. It'd be like the fish from Dredge. Like... That sounds like a terrible idea. <coughs> so no thank you. Her face her injuries need to be fixed ASAP. I have no way to do that. Um, but we can feed her. Feed water. Um, yeah, we'll send Timmy out tomorrow. Found some weird mushrooms growing on one of the walls. Food shortage is no laughing matter, so maybe it would be a good idea to grab a bite or two. No, that's terrible. Don't eat mushrooms you can't recognize. Ever. That's just good life advice. Don't, don't do it. may be hungry, but there are just some things we will never eat, while well, fungus is one of them. Dolores would really love to eat something. We, I mean, you gave you some food. Nothing new to report with Timmy. Alright. Preparing for this. Yep, we're sending Timmy. Um, I kind of want to send him with the briefcase, because I want to send him with the axe and the map. I don't think anything else. Yeah. See how this goes. Might be a mistake, but we're gonna find out. Die in your fallout shelter? Oh no. That's one way ticket. Oh no, but then we're gonna lose because we have to have an adult. Well, that's sad. Wasteland, um, Timmy should have returned by now. We need to face the worst possible scenario. He might not be coming back. Our injuries are far too long. Oh, that's not good. Hold up for 35 days though? Not bad. Not bad. I do dislike that the kids can't survive on their own though. I feel like. Why not? Honestly. But hey! We did okay. We did okay. I think so. Let's try again. Maybe we can try on the second difficulty. It'll actually be okay. Okay. Options. Oh, not options. Sorry. New game. Apocalypse. We're gonna play as Ted this time. And yep, yeah, we're gonna do the middle one. 
begin adventure. Do, 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 do. I'm working on this guy today, y'all. I just need to add the arms or like the fins. I am so excited though. Okay, so we have axe, we have soup there. What do we have in here? Oh, the med kit's in here. Let's just grab that first. Grab some water. Grab one of those. Okay, and then throw these in here. Let's grab more food. Grab the axe. Those in there. Um, grabbing the suitcase is a good idea. Oh, suitcase takes up too much room. Hold on. Okay, now Dolores, come here. Can we grab the flashlight? Water. Ah! You haven't noticed yet we're leaving the kids. Oh, come on. Get around the corner. Thank you. Oh, I don't know why I grabbed those. But then we know they're used as ammo in some parts. Okay. I think I have to be in this box when it ends. I guess we could test that next time and see if that's, like, actually the case. Alright, let's see how this goes. It's just the two adults this time. Instead of bringing one of the kids. <laughs> it's kind of sad their chairs are still down here, though. Just the two of us. There wasn't enough time to get the kids, but surely this is just a drill and they're okay, right? Yeah, they're fine. We stocked it somehow. We always found a better way to use the stocked supplies instead of leaving them for an emergency. You should always leave them. Once we had a soup dinner party, another time we needed the rifle to help our neighbor watch watch in a various fight against raccoons. Luckily, some of the supplies were left untouched. Yay, cards. Hey, look what we found in the suitcase we grabbed upstairs. Good thing we didn't uh, unpack our holiday luggage. A padlock. So it's random. It was a lot better last time, but that's okay. All right, yep, yeah, we'll start good and go from there. Now these are tough conditions. Fair enough. He really does start growing a beard so fast. Some mornings we feel a bit hopeless. We need to uh, pull ourselves together and be more optimistic. The army can't be far. We can hope. Um, we are gonna do an expedition. Those again, noises, weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes, walls? Is it something behind the door? We don't know, and it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax. Yeah, play some cards. Hopefully they're more than a one-use thing. <laughs> they don't look damaged. Um, having some fun made us forget about, what was it again? Oh, I mean, fair enough. We're gonna give you guys water, but not food for this one. We're gonna send, wait, can we not send both of them? In both of them. I don't know how we actually use the padlock. I thought maybe if we selected both of them for the adventure, it would would do it, but I guess not. I might have to look it up. Or maybe now if we try to send her on an adventure, we're gonna try it. Yep, he left. We'll give you both. Oh no, it won't even let us. Hmm, I'm not sure. Someone is very serious about banging on the hatch. We were scared to open it, but it might be some good news, right? We would gladly welcome any friendly face, even if it was our neighbor, Ned. Uh, we're pretty sure that if there was any reason why our town got bombed, he would be the reason. Shall we open it? Let's just see. We haven't tried any of them. Although, I just realized she doesn't have a weapon, so that's probably bad. She looks sick. That's not good. A group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water. Before we could thank them, they turned away and left. Opening that hatch was a bit risky. It seems to have given us some awful sickness. That coughing is driving us crazy. Well, we have a med kit, so that's okay. A trip to Nevada we've been postponing for a while now. Maybe we should go there. That's our first stop after we get out of here. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. I've never been to Nevada. So I don't know if it's really worth it. One's knocking again. We work even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard that's the best way to get to Europe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. Casinos, gambling. So when a man came to our door and told us 
He used to be a gambler or suspicious. He invited us to play a game. Proposed a two water bottle bet in a card game of our choice. Uh, no thank you. That seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> our husband's not back yet. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set the kids? We left them behind. We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. Um, we'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away. Good riddance. We'd sooner rob someone? Jeez. That's rough. Sweep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could it be at this hour? Uh, yep. We're gonna, ch we're gonna check. This is the learn new things adventure. <gasps> Our son! He was alive? We're not prepared for what, or rather, who was standing outside the shelter door. It was Timmy. He was able to survive on his own. He was a bit jumpy and kept saying something about the power of the conch, but he is safe with us now. Oh, We don't have a med kit, but hey, welcome. Why does he have a teddy bear head? Um, yeah, we do not have a radio. I forgot to grab it. <laughs> Oopsie. That and give me one second. Timmy is quite sick. We really don't have anything to help him with, though. Unfortunately, I really wish we did. I also wish the dad was back. Um, we had some spare ammunition, but now it's gone. We don't know how or when. And this place. Let's look for it. We have the flashlight at least. <gasps> Dad's back. He also sick. That's not good. Oh, and he's crazy. A doll. Found it. The ammunition clip was covered by a can. Too bad it was empty, but at least we have our bullets back. Um, Ted has safely returned from his voyage. Yay! Where'd he go? We were not alone outside the shelter. At first, it, at first, it seemed like the creature stalking us was about to get its, itself a tasty dinner. To our relief, it turned out to be a friendly monkey. It joined our expedition. Oh, jeez. While we explored one of the streets, our monkey companion ran away, only to come back moments later carrying a can of food. It couldn't open it himself, but it was happy to share it with us. Plus two food, okay. One point during expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and digging in front of us with a stick. A quick investigation revealed a few bottles of water. No one even tried to open them. The same couldn't be said about those bottles of booze lying next to them. Oh, well, we got some water. <gasps> a med kit! Yay! That's good. Could just drive away. Mm-hmm. Alright, finally. I can only heal one of you. I'm gonna heal the- uh... That's more important though. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, Timmy. Um. Yeah, we can go on another expedition. Inside these walls, but there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. We don't have what we need. Oh, well. Wait okay, one second, y'all. Looking up something for Bo's boss about the market we've been doing. Sorry, y'all. Just wanted to send this before I forgot. Okay, there we go. 
Why does he have a sock puppet? Oh dear. Briefly ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were. Oh no. That's not good. We even used our med kit. Not enough. Oh, I can send no one. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Oh, I should answer the phone this time. This is the run of discovery, after all. Yeah, everyone is hungry and sick. I totally understand. Um, let's do that. Oh, we will send someone. Oh yeah, for the phone. Let's have her run across the street. Uh oh, she got sick too, didn't she? She looks less, less sick than them. Okay. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town on of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they get back to us. Alright, so survivors. That is good. Um, well, it's actually not food for this time. Yep, we're sending her with the suit, or with the axe. See if she can survive or not. They're both sick though, so like, oh, he's not sick anymore, he's just crazy. I don't think it's gonna end well for him. Like, probably at all. He's just, wait, we have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them mean as much to us as Auntie Ada. She lives in the country, so there's a good chance she's still um, configuring her cow counting machine and not worrying about nukes raining down in her hen house. Too bad we don't have a photo of her, or do we? We put some photos into a books a while ago after the giant coffee spill incident. Well, we don't have it, unfortunately. I think Sadie just sneezed and woke herself up. <laughs> Day 15, and so we are left without, with no photos, no news, and no happy thoughts. The world is too cruel. It is a bit cruel, and that's not good. Hope she comes back tomorrow. We are in big trouble. Timmy's gone. If there is one thing we need to do, it's to use our radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcasts that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that or it's strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. The first option sounds a bit more sane. Unfortunately, we do not have a radio. Ted's mental health worsens, worries us all, but we don't know how to help him. We couldn't do anything about Timmy's wounds. They got worse and worse until eventually he got fed up and left. All that remains of him is a note explaining that we are lousy parents, that he will be back when he becomes the warlord of the wasteland. You know, what a goal. What a goal, though. I love it. Day 17. She's still not back. That's not good. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue of what's going on might not necessarily kill us. It might, though. We're gonna let you skip this one. Hear that noise is coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out that manhole in the corner. Yeah, let's let's check. See if it's the same every time or not. Still no door sounds. Great. Ooh, we got a map. So that was the same as last time. So that's good to know. Um, we're gonna skip again just for this one. When we looked closely at our map, we noticed someone had written a set of mysterious directions in one of the corners. Yeah. Go for it. Maybe we don't use the padlock, maybe it just gets used. Like, on its own. We were following the map directions closely. So closely we ended up walking right into a pile of rubble and ruining the damn thing. Guess the treasure hunt is over. Oh, that's not good. Sad. We played a game of list of things you hate the most. Oh yeah, well last time it worked out. Let's go scavenge again from our neighbor. Made it to day 20 though. She's been gone forever. Did we get a shotgun? Oh, we did. Uh, interesting. He's in bad way though. We'll use some more supplies. We counted all of them today and the numbers did not make us happy. How do you do something about it? We know that a teacher from the local school managed to rescue a bunch of kids and lead them to a nearby building where they're relatively safe. And we could really use whatever they have. We could really use it, right? Uh, we're not stealing from the children. I thought I was going to suggest we joined them. That would be fine. We're not stealing. Oh, he's dead. Poof, that's not good. 
to come back safely. The old library in the center of town was reduced to a pile of rubbish. We found a soup can, but we did not find any water, and that is not good. Great. Great, great. So wonderful. Not wonderful. Um, if there's one thing we need to do, use a radio on a regular basis, we still don't have one. Oh, we can't send her. Okay. Why does that sound like the tuba? I really thought the daughter might be in here. Yeah, we can only give you food. I'm sorry. Um, let's see how it works out. We don't think it will, but we're trying to learn, right? You're knocking though. Boy Scout book. Traditional if you want immune system, it may lead to sickness. I mean that makes sense. Interesting. Oh. Uh sure, you can go outside and see who's knocking. He said you've been watching us for a while and he believes we're good and decent people. I hoped he uh, would mean different circumstances he could really use our help right now. Let's see what happens. Uh oh. The end. I'll take it. That was a bad decision. What happened though? The young man was assisted by a group of other survivors, all armed but really friendly. We found the girl, threw her a weapon, and fought off the bandits guarding the exit. Siblings were happy to be reunited, but also very confused. Turns out the bandit leader is actually their father. Crazy, small world we live in. Anyway, they were really thankful and promised to contact us again soon. If only we had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. Dolores died of dehydration last night. Yep. Sad. But we tried. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You perished. That we did. Only 25 days. That's not too bad, though. Had a lot less food and water, though, that's for sure. <sighs> Way less. Okay, let's try now. A challenge. Collect all supplies and family members on the list, then make it to the shelter before time runs out. Let's try it, just because we haven't before. Collect all of those. Sure, let's figure it out. <laughs> Be good practice for the beginning part. I hope it just still gives us the list while we're in this. Okay, it does. So we should start with these right here. throw those in. We've got our sun. Um, there we go. Ah! Our wife. We need the med kit. The gas mask, which I don't know where it is. Oh, we can't grab her. Grab this water. We can grab this water. Oh, I don't think we're gonna make it. Oh, wrong way. So should I do stupid stuff like that? Okay, we need... Oh, we need to grab that. Have her. Ah! We're not gonna make it! Ah! I don't see the things! Dang it. Survival is overrated. <laughs> Stay to see the fireworks. The duck and cover. Alright, let's try it again. It was pretty hard. <laughs> Alright, we're still gonna try here again, so. There's such a delay on him picking stuff up. I hate it. We need you, and then we also, we need the gun. Throw those in there. Mud kit's not in here this time. We got the water, got another water. Still haven't seen the radio. Is there anything in here? Oh, the gas mask. Shit. Okay. Throw it in! Faster! Uh, med kit, I don't see radio, I don't see uh, med kit. 
radio I don't see. Ah, uh, we're not gonna have time. We're so much closer this time though. Dang it, we're so much closer. Ah. Gosh dang it. So close. Okay, let's check out the other challenge. I wonder if they're all about the same amount of items. I'm gonna look real quick. It's just a different combination. <sighs> I think if we click on one, there we go. So it's. Um, excuse me? That is a lot of axes. That one's less. That one's a lot. That one's a lot too. Okay, so they do vary. Wow, all soup. That is a lot of soup. Give them that. Okay, now survival. Scouts honor. The blast claimed our scout, our scout book. As well as our first aid kit. Even the map got all torn somehow. These items probably won't be in high supply right now. We need to learn to live without them. Timmy's knowledge has now become invaluable. He must guide us through the struggle towards a better tomorrow. We must care for him and protect him, for the scouts shall inherit the earth. Keep Timmy alive. Get rescued by the military or ally with other wastelanders. Scout a handbook and first aid kit disabled reward. Ooh, vintage skin for those. That'd be cool. Let's try it. So we have to protect Timmy. Must protect Timmy. Who else is in the thing with us? <sighs> Everyone. Okay. Alrighty then. Could have been worse, surely. At least we're all here. But what happens if one of us gets radiation poisoning or an injury? What will we do then without medical supplies? Yeah, that is a problem. Um, let's go and do all of you for this time. We don't have a flashlight, so we can't really help with that. But I don't know what day, or if it's even consistent what day the military comes. Um, let's do this for this time. We will go on an expedition. A bunch of people dressed in what looked like Halloween doctor outfits. They claim to be a field hospital, moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazards of the wasteland. Their problem is some of their supplies got eaten by something that looked like a Sasquatch. Do we have any spare hydrogen peroxide? A water bottle? That's not... Okay, let's see what it does. I've definitely not seen that scenario before. Although giving up water is probably pretty dumb. Bottle of relatively clean water is the closest we will ever get to hydrogen peroxide. The guests were grateful anyway. Okay. Um, let's actually have everyone skip this time. And we're gonna have dad go out. With that and that. This could have taken the gun, but yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's see how this goes. Equipment, yep. Two, you three. Regular family, so we have the occasional argument or two, but it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other, let's just hope it doesn't last long. Aww. That's sad. Day five. Hello. Stopped arguing, but for how long? Eh, true. We can be hopeful. We're gonna skip one day with them. It seems that the whole shelter has been shaking every couple of minutes, and it feels like it's getting stronger every time this happens. Well, let's listen to the radio. Maybe there are earthquakes. Would not be good, but there might be. What was that sound? Everyone okay? Let's hope so. We need to make a proper inspection. That was one nasty earthquake. We never used to get such bad ones before. It's all because of the atoms. Mm, definitely the atoms. No one should mess with atoms. No one. <laughs> I mean, fair. Oh, we don't have enough water for everyone. Oh. Nope. That's it. Trying to do. Spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they have all the same rights to the shelter as we do. They're everywhere and don't seem very scared of us. It's time we change that. We unfortunately do not have anything to help with that. Nope. Dad's still not back. Gosh dang it. We need water. 
decided we could get rid of the spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever other body parts we could use for lethal anti-spider attacks. Unfortunately, we've underestimated their chances. They're really fast. All we achieved is getting tired. Maybe we'll have more luck next time. That is possible. Give you guys food. We do not have anything to help in here. Not good. Not good. What if this is like, what difficulty these challenges, like what setting they're at? Probably the hardest. <sighs> we decided to ignore any problems with the vents and focus on other problems. As predicted, all of us developed a nasty cough and a trouble breathing, but it got better the next morning. We don't know what the issue was, but the important thing is it's gone now. Well, maybe that was the best option, and now we're completely out of water. This is not good. Not good at all. Dad's back. With water? Yes, with water! Yay! That is good. Your pipe would do the event of a nuclear apocalypse and decide to ignore it. We've been feeling a bit funny today, though. Probably no connection to the pipe. None whatsoever. Yeah. Two food, two water. We lost the axe. That's okay. Everyone needs water. Oh, you need soup, too. There we go. We will do an expedition. Didn't expect to get a phone call so soon. It was good last time. Let's send Dolores out. Let's see how this goes. Day 10. Uh, when we answered the phone, we could clear gas relief from the caller. They introduced themselves from Hill Valley. Alright, well, survivors still. That's good. Alright, let's go ahead and food everyone, but wait on water. We're gonna have you go out. Um, yeah, you're just gonna take the gas mask. That's, that'll work for this time. Day 11. <laughs> Can we listen to the radio again soon? Seems like a good idea. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna regret this, but let's see. Yay, the radio! Let's see what we can find out. Hopefully something good. Unfortunately our sister is not back. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. We could hear nothing but the annoying static. Better luck next time. Oh, that's not good. Alright, you all can skip a day. Yep, we're gonna keep trying to listen. Keep trying to listen. Ooh, good sign? Maybe? Let's see. We knew it, the government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us. They didn't give the exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple days and told us to await further instruction. Alright. Looks like everyone's okay. One's at the door, we're a bit scared, and maybe it's a friendly face of an American soldier. We're gonna not open it this time. I feel like it's a trap. Like, just... Just maybe, probably. Thirsty, thirsty, yeah, I wish I had some water for y'all. The banging stopped after a while, and whoever it was behind the door left. We have no idea who it was. Will we ever find out? Maybe. We have to protect you, so you get water. Oh dear, we just remembered we planned on taking a trip south in two months. If it's still there, we're going, right? We're pretty sure they don't bomb warm places. I don't think that's how they decide that. Like, at all. Day 15, she's still not back. This isn't good. She's gonna come back to everyone dead. Not good at all. Let not play some games. They're not just for kids, you know? Yeah. And you brought checkers. Might as well play them. Day 16. We're gonna check the radio again. I feel like we should. The silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying and we quickly stopped. Oh, I mean, that's not good. Ah, oh, guess what? We already got ourselves our very own Fallout Garden. We've got a bunch of mushrooms growing. Let's see. We said no last time, and I agreed. Never eat a mushroom you can't identify. Yeah, that's why. Right there. But it was worth a shot. Okay, but I will say. We were supposed to let him survive. We have done that so far. Why do we need an adult? <laughs> Poor daughter. Come back to no one there. That's really sad. Alright, end adventure. Let's see what one of the other scenarios is. I'm intrigued now. This seems kind of fun. Um... 
survival. Responsible parenting. Survive for 50 days. Keep both children alive until rescue comes. Children can't go on expeditions. Rifle and axe disabled. Hmm. I don't know about that. Survival of the fittest. Send out seven successful expeditions to locate the supply cache. Ooh. Yeah, let's try that one. We might be able to do that. We'll just send out expeditions as much as we possibly can. I think is the idea. Whoa, day 30. What? Day 30? Dear weeks down here, it's not looking good for us in terms of supplies, but there's hope. We learned on the radio there's a hidden supply cache nearby. Hopefully the transmission gave us enough to go by and we can locate it before the radioactivity out there makes us grow extra pairs of anything. Enough sitting around aimlessly waiting to be rescued. Everyone get ready to do some exploring. Okay. That's a thing. Yep, we'll go on our expedition. Um, can't help do anything about the insects. Interesting it starts you so far in though. <laughs> cool though. <sighs> Bare hands, but it just made us tired. Okay. I'm gonna skip. Um, let's have... Let's have you go. Actually, let's take the briefcase, the gas mask. Do we have a gun in this one? No, so I'll take the axe. Oh, the gun's broken. Makes sense. Makes sense. Alright, let's see what we can do. I think we're actually gonna skip for- well... Fatigued, fatigued, fatigued. Okay, so yeah, we can skip rations for this day. Um, so nothing to help us with the ventilation. Unfortunately. Okay, Dad's still out back. <gasps> Wonderful. <sighs> still don't know what the issue was. Some water for Timmy and Dolores. Uh, water for everyone. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, gross. Where did that green puddle come from? Oh dear, a pipe is leaking green goo. That's not good. That's not good at all. We need to act now and no one packed a mop. What do we do? We do not have any options right now. <laughs> Great. And dad is still not back. But though, we figured it out so we just assumed that's what a regular pipe would do in the event of a nuclear apocalypse and decided to ignore it. Been feeling a bit funny today though. Probably no connection whatsoever. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's fine. June's been awful silent today. This is very unlike her. Should we try talking to her? Yeah. Might as well try. Maybe some comfort. Dad's still not back. Jeez. Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the latter, but talking alone seems to have done the trick. That's good. I don't have anything to help with that. Great. Oh, finally. One expedition took six days. We're supposed to do seven? Jeebus. Okay, brought everything back. That is good. Didn't find a supply crate, but found two bottles of water. A med kit. I mean, that's good. Okay, okay. Dolores, Timmy just want nothing other than water. Yeah, everyone wants water. We're gonna... Um, you need food for sure. We're gonna let you go with that one more time. We have to do another expedition. Been dropping hints that it's a special day for her today. We had to think about it hard, and after eliminating our average festivities, the anniversaries of that great barbecue we had three years ago, and an international popcorn day, we realized she was talking about her birthday. It means we need to get her a gift. We can't gift you the med kit. We all need that. What? Hopefully she's not too mad. Very tired, fatigued, fatigued. Okay. Um, Mary Jane is too old for birthdays, but that's what we think. I mean, I don't know if I go that far. You food, we're gonna give you water. We'll let the two parents wait for now. Um, let's have you take the gas mask. Hopefully not be gone six more days, because that would be a little ridiculous. And by a little, I mean very. Go around, even Ted has nothing to eat. Yeah. I'm trying, man. Oh yeah, 
play some checkers. Relax a little. Maybe it will help. That's not a good sound. I just realized our radio is broken back there too. Um, neither of you are thirsty. None of you are thirsty currently, so we will wait. What is that? Oh, yeah. Or a flashlight for an axe, or that for bullets for that. Um, no, we're good. I think I'd rather have the axe over the flashlight. Cause like protection, right? Like that makes more sense. At least to me. Despite his desperate attempts to sell us all kinds of things, useless and not, we turned down the man's offer. It's probably for the better. He did look quite untrustworthy. Fair enough. No radio. Yep, that is unfortunate. I feel like you don't have a ton of agency in this on like what happens day to day. Unfortunately, I think after this run we're gonna pl um, load up Parasex and actually check that one out a little bit today too. I'm just wanting to see what the difference is and I feel like that'll be easier to do like back to back. So we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I'm sorry y'all. Um, is everyone thirsty? Yep, so we have to give the dad water then because he has to survive or they all die. Heard a quiet knock on our door, but when we opened, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? No, that's gotta be, like, a trap. It was a terrible idea. Granted, mom's not back yet, so maybe we should. Um, what if it's some sort of complicated booby trap? We've heard some bandits around. Maybe they left the suitcase and they're lurking in the shadows, waiting to steal all of our cans. Jokes on them, we don't have any. We carefully moved the bag away and the next morning it was gone. Yep, we are in big trouble though. Timmy's not doing great. Good to talk to him. Yeah, might as well try. We worked with Mary Jane. Mom's still not back. I don't know how you're gonna get seven expeditions out of these guys if each one takes so long. Maybe enough Timmy seems to be better now. I mean, that's good. Everyone's in a lot of trouble though. So much trouble. Day 44. Oh, both the kids are gone. That's not good. The world has ended. Who cares about showering? We, we can get used to it. Adapting should, um, shouldn't be hard. It will be like a camping trip. It will... Oh no, that smell is just terrible. Don't puke, don't. Suspicious looking stains cover part of the page. You. That's not good. Came back here like you turned. They left. A single drop of water, she got furious. Yep, they both left. I don't blame them. We can make them less sick, but we can't do anything about it. Finally! Jeez, it took forever. Now you have water. Okay. I'm gonna cover the details with the cash. We didn't manage to find any landmarks. Four water, though. I mean, that's good. And bullets, it looks like. Well, both the kids left. So that's a thing. If all the expeditions take that long, there's no way. No way. <laughs> oh, the cockroach is back. Wait, if she doesn't what? If she doesn't eat tonight, she'll last till the morning. Well, I don't have any food for you. So, I don't know how I can help. Shelter. Wait, we didn't pack any razors. Um, good sharp axe might be perfect replacement. No, do not shave with an axe. That sounds like a terrible idea. Like an absolutely terrible idea. Hey, she's still alive at the moment. No axe, no shave. Maybe another time. I mean, we had one, but not shaving with an axe. Oh, no one can go. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. They are in big trouble. Super, super big trouble. Okay, I'll give him like one more day. Yep. She's probably next to you. Someone's knocking though. Our new cockroach roommates can be a bit messy, disgusting, and annoying, but surely this is not the worst thing that could have happened to us, and there's not much we can do about it anyway. Maybe one day we'll manage to convince them to pay the rent. Yeah, that would be nice. 
There's some water for you. A stranger pushing a rusty little barrel filled with all kinds of goods stopped by today. He claims he's a trader looking to barter. Um. Mm. Oh, offers one an exchange of mm. these. We don't have them to give them. I thought maybe we'd get those for water, but nope. The way around. Day 50. Four doors. Just, just kind of waiting for her to, to die, apparently. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I don't know how you get seven expeditions out of that. At all. Like, no idea. <sighs> That's okay, though. Alright, end adventure. And then we're gonna switch and see the differences between this one and the space one. Because I honestly don't have any idea. If you have played the other one, feel free to share. Um... Feel free to share your thoughts on it. I just have not. 60... Pers parsecs. I'm gonna think para, but parsecs. Okay, there we go. Okay. And then, there we go. It might be loud. It's the first time I'm opening the game. So if it is loud, I'm sorry. It does say I have some playtime, though. I just don't remember. So, it was a long while ago. Okay, and let me get the game capture up. There you go. Okay, um, let's go to settings real quick. Make sure all this looks good. Turn the music volume down a bit more. And then, new adventure. Survival, survive in your escape shuttle with randomly generated supplies and crew. The full game experience, evacuate the exploding station and survive with the supplies and crew you collected. And then there's missions. Okay, let's try Voyager. Let's meet you. Agility, intelligence, strength. Captain's goal, make seven successful tribute decisions of any type. Let's try it. I don't know how much of a difference they, they all make, but... Might as well see. Sock puppet, alone in space, be your new best friend. Aww. Adorable. Oh, she's so scared. Hey, can we just immediately grab things? Where are we? Oh, here we go. Oh, we didn't drop our stuff off. Here we go. I thought I had. Okay, I will say the running in this one is a lot better. Like, your maneuverability is better. I do not know what all these random boxes are. I guess we'll see. I haven't found any water. Do you want to come with us? Apparently not. Maybe some of these have water in them, I don't know. I am honestly unsure what that is. We had soup vending machines. Anything else useful in here? Ah! Let me grab it. Ah! Okay. Wait, did I actually have to get in? Oops. Yeah, I guess in this one you have to actually jump in before. Um, that I did not know. Well, we learn something new every day, I guess. Let's try this again. I didn't see a tutorial in this one. But yeah, the ma maneuverability of your character is leagues better. It looks like the layout changed, which is interesting. Okay, let's put those away. Go in here. What is that? I don't know what that is. Grab these. Oop. 
grab the shovel. I don't think surviving alone is a good idea, so at least grab one person. Oh, no. Throw him down. Don't- oh, it's a phone. I thought it might have been a camera, and I was like, I'm not sure how useful that'll be. A mask of some sort. More soup. Oh, apparently not gonna be able to pick that up. Alright, let's go. Can I leave? Okay, there we go. Ooh, we've collected a bunch of food. I need like a map of the station to look at. <laughs> I have no idea where all we were running at all. Duct tape fixes all problems, but how do you fix duct tape? Hmm. That's a good question. That's a good question. Feel free to leave your answers in chat. Do, 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 do. See what the inside of our shuttle looks like. Day one. Oh, it's kind of cute. I like it. Hey, Astro, computerized assistant reporting for duty. You must be Dee, Dee right? I am pleased to announce that due to your actions during the escape, you are the perfect candidate to become the captain of this vessel. Welcome aboard the escape shuttle, Captain. On behalf of the, uh, the Astro Citizen Program, please accept our apologies for the minuscule inconvenience of being blown 60 parsecs away from Earth. Or parsecs, sorry, away from Earth. First order of business, find a safe place to land and then try to contact the outside world. Please switch on the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular rationing protocol and feed your crewmate. I await your decisions, Captain. Alright, so that's the log. Captain's goals, make seven successful attribute decisions of any type. Current goals, find an appropriate landing spot. Okay, so this is the information. So he's... Ad average agility, our agility is so limper, average, average, he is average, intelligence, dumb, strength, mighty, I mean, he's strong. And these are all of our supplies, okay. Oh, the computer. Captain, all Astro Citizen missions begin with the commanding officer delivering a morale-boosting speech. Don't let me stop you. Your fellow Astro Citizen depends on you to make the right decisions and to give a great speech. That is it. You can really show what, what breed of captain you will be will you be on this incredible journey? What kind of speech will you give? Um, let's see. Int intelligence speech, agility, or a string. Let's, let's use our intelligence. Let's see how that goes. Oh, this is rationing. I don't think we actually have... Do we have soup to give them? Should we pull that down to lock it in? Oh, okay. I don't know if I should have done that yet. Clever speech sounded like a great idea. Of course, that only works if the one who gives it is, well, witty enough. Your tongue suddenly stopped working and all you could utter was, How about some fresh air? Let's open the airlock. Uh, no. Your fellow crewmate was far from convinced. It is certain your words made a mark, but probably not the one you wanted. To cheer you up a little after this fiasco, I allowed myself to power up the enzyme generator in the back of the shuttle. It will produce some useful chemicals for you, for you daily. Captain, the crafting module in the back of the cabin has been activated. It's pretty self-explanatory. This modern machine lets you create something from almost nothing. All you need is a little bit of uh, minerals, chemicals, or power. Okay. Can do that. I think. Let's see what's in here. See that locked safe in the corner, Captain? This is the Captain's safe. It's meant for you. You have the code, of course. No? Does not compute? Were you really appointed the Captain by Astro Citizen Command? I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, for now. Since you don't have the code, will you try to open the safe by force, or are you going to rely on your dexterity? Um... I think agility. I think. Ooh, expeditions restricted. Okay. Oh, and this is the crafting one. Ooh, chocolate med kit. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think that's a great idea. Um, anything else we can do? Doesn't look like it. We'll both still eat. Alrighty. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> we look happy. So about the safe, you managed to crack the code. I knew you were nimble-fingered enough to get that done. Uh, what do you know? It's a standard issue Astro Citizen lighter. Maybe the last of its kind. Just don't let me catch you starting any fires in here, Captain. We won't. 
Days remaining two. Oh, so it takes more time to craft. All right. The shuttle lacks the EM shielding found on larger vessels. Put simply, it was never meant for long-term space travel. There are some inherent risks, namely to your skin. Remember how your mom always told you to wear sunscreen at the beach? You're way more likely to get a sunburn out here, where there's no atmosphere to protect you. Will you please, please, please put on some sunscreen? Oh, uh, we don't have a first aid kit, so we cannot, apparently. So that's unfortunate. We'll actually skip food for today for us. One more, or two more days, we would have a med kit. Maybe we can do it then. You do not wear sunscreen to block the harsh electromagnetic rays flying, um, wantonly through the vacuum of space. You claim that sunscreen makes you break out. I can't verify if this is true or false, seeing as I'm an AI. I've never experienced a pimple. Your skin is radiating heat, you're complaining of fatigue, and you've got a telltale crimson glow that's a trademark of a developing sunburn. Too late now. I... But I, I didn't have a choice. One day remaining. Okay. Um... We, yeah, we will feed us today. And then we have to do this before we can continue. Full rusted and swollen cans of soup in the darkest corner of the ship. Someone must have put them there a long time ago and then completely forgot about them. Um, no, it seems like a terrible idea to keep them, actually. I, I don't think we should do that. Crafty. Craft 10 items. Ooh, yay. Our crafting is done. That ancient uh, soup you found looked really old. I mean, like, pyramids old. You threw it out and never looked back. Well, okay, maybe you did. Like, once or twice. Probably more, not more than three times. You still feel well fed. Crafting completed. No item available. First aid kit. You feel victorious, Captain. You look healthy. My data shows human in a good physical state perform their tasks significantly better. Which I mean, is true. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so that's how we recycle things to get more energy and such. Upgrades cannot do that yet. I don't think we need to craft soup. Let's do the puppet, though. I think that's a good idea. And out of space. I mean, that's fair. We must land first. Mm. Well fed. Oh, we can also do it here. Okay. Oh, we only have one soup left. I see. Yeah, neither of us need to eat then. Oh my gosh, you found a holographic chest set um, on board. You've never heard of holographic chess? It's like regular chess, but with a big round board, and your pieces are holographic monsters. Oh. Because it doesn't use physical pieces, I can totally play you. You'll have to input my moves, but just remember, I control the airflow to where you sleep at night. You better not cheat. Let's use intelligence, then? Alrighty. Day six. I don't want to rub it in your face that I defeated you at holographic chess, but ha ha ha. Why are you mad? How in the universe did you expect to beat me? The computer always wins. It's true. Dry your tears. I made a perfectly legal move. You, on the other hand, should be thankful I didn't let you cheat your way to victory. I'm not the most forgiving person when losing at, at board games. Baby still feels well fed. Well, I mean, I guess at least we're good there. How many days for this? One day. Okay. Uh, let's do this. You're required, Captain. This is most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmissions, but I cannot identify who is sending them. More importantly, what they contain. It might be a solar flare interference or worse, a new type of Soviet encryption. We need to decipher these signals as soon as possible. Um, I will try to do that. I don't think he will be successful. He's very nice, but I don't think he will be successful. Like, at all. First contact. Ooh, that could be a good sign. Goals updated. Check goal section for details. I will do. Captain, you need to see this. I'm not easily excited, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human-made AI alike. Fair enough. We are not alone in this universe. The signals we intercepted were finally decrypted. There are alien transmissions, as in coming from other life forms. And no, I do not mean the reds. It's something we have never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. The signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume we are going to meet some of them sooner or later. That would be good. Okay, we got the sock puppet. Says he's glad to have you as your captain. Oh, thank you. Appropriate landing spot. Investigate the source of the distress call. That we can do. Um, we should craft more soup. 
Captain, our wondrous Astro Citizen mini reactor needs its regular coolant flush. The magnificent m machine o only occupies two thirds of shuttle storage and weighs less than a 20 ton truck. Truly a marvel of space age miniaturization. Keeping it in good condition is crucial yet difficult. To flush the coolant pipes, you must massage the casting gently while whispering mathematical equations to the machine. Baby is idle. Do you want to ask him to begin doing it? Sure. Why not? I mean, I can think of a couple of reasons why not, but I'm still going to do it. Um, and then we're going to eat. Sorry, our friendo, that we didn't. Yay, we got soup. Baby remains loyal. I mean, that's good. The dent in one of the mini reactor pipes managed to rectify the situation. Yay! And it's really good. Neglected your oral hygiene for far too long, so now you need to pull that nasty tooth before it gets worse. Don't worry, it's only going to hurt a little. There might be a complimentary sticker in it for you. As for protocol, the necessary tools were automatically dispensed. One piece of string and one bottle of anesthetic? It, it has the Astro Citizen logo and anesthetic written on it. Will you require an assistant for this surgery? Um, yeah, let's let him help me. I might regret it, but we can let him help me. Um, I wonder... I kind of want to recycle the lighter. So we're going to do that. We have no soup. Oh, we do have soup now, so you can eat. Probably crafted one. Which is good. You took it like a champ, but a terrified and disgusted baby went into shock and insisted on drinking the whole bottle of anesthetic to calm his nerves. Ew. Baby passed out after drowning the suspicious, downing the suspicious liquid and woke up much later, feeling slow and sluggish. Uh-oh, did you check the expiration date on that bottle? Hmm, wonderful. Usually seems well fed. We got that done. Did this change at all? I don't think so. Okay. Captain, I'm picking up a large object of unknown origin not far from us. It's hollow. There could be supplies inside, or maybe even other intelligent life. Yeah, let's let's check it out. Use our tractor beam. Oh, actually. Craft more soup. And then we can go. Day 10. Not doing too bad so far. We got more soup. That is good thing aboard and open. Unfortunately, the astronaut hiding inside had long since perished. Decomposing in space is interesting, Captain. I gather many useful data. No, you're right. I'm sorry. May he rest in peace. Mm. That's unfortunate. He is not okay now. He is now insane. Uh oh. Maybe that will help him? I don't actually know. Captain, your roofing levels are dangerously low. How about a joke? Why did the computer arrive late, arrive late to work? Because it had a hard drive. Ha. <laughs> uh, we were laughing. No? Nothing? Alright, how about an episode of the hit show Three Guys and a Horse instead? It's intended as an enhanced interrogation method if we ever capture any reds, but you might find it amusing. Sure, let's see. Let's see if we find it fun or not. Cannot craft anything. Um... I guess let's recycle the shovel. I don't know if that's the right move or not, but only one way to find out. I see a spaceship outside. <laughs> this would happen to be the Earth Day special. It involved the cast traveling the globe, seeing the wonders of the world, and expressing their gratitude um, for the rich body or bounties of Earth and for all the billions of people who occupy it. Your expression suggests this was a mistake. Would it make you feel better if I mentioned that every cast and crew member is likely dead? No? Alright, I'll stay quiet then. Look at you, Captain. You're healthy as a horse. Recycling operation complete. I must be frank, Captain. You have completely lost your marbles. Baby is not well fed anymore and baby became sane. That's good, though. This is a UFO. The distress signal we've been following originated from this little stranded ship. Unfortunately, it only has a skeleton crew. Literally. The pilots are dead. The ship is in standby mode, but could become operational if it had a functioning AI. I could share my base source code with it, but, you know, we'd have... An undeveloped AI on our hands. I don't know if I'm ready to become a programmer. Well, we gotta try it though. I feel like it's definitely something we have to have to try. Okay, we can't do that. Can we craft another one? We can only craft one thing at a time, huh? Okay, well we'll, we'll start there. Um, I don't know if the med kit will actually help her not be like insane. Okay. 
day 12. System message, new offering imp implemented. New destination, redacted. System message, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep. Redacted, son of a glitch. Most of its files are in an alien language, but I think I see the words return and reward. Return what, him? Captain, it's a machine. Oh, whatever. Okay. I have a couple of bits of shuttle maintenance to flag up. Most importantly, the equipment safety and condition evaluation. We're a little behind on our most recent check, what with all the pan-galactic space trotting. We should check some of our gear, and Baby seems idle. Is there anything he should check? Um, for the communicator? Well, he might lose it, I guess. I don't know. So we're gonna find out. Day 13. I asked you to grab one of my Astro Citizen approved checklist sheets and run through it with the chosen piece of equipment. Baby went one further. He was happy to add his own checks, noting how improvements could be made. Then he went ahead and gave our equipment a shiny upgrade. You remain insane. You're in peak physical condition. Crafting completed. Baby is now your friend. Aww. Okay, we're gonna do that. Thank you. There's error. Name not found. This baby AI is interesting, I admit. Simple and helpless, much like you. But that will soon change. She's developing at a rate of nearly 400 times that of a typical human. If we're stuck with it for now, maybe stop referring to him as the the cute UFO. Think of a name. I'll program it for you. Yes, really. Um, I guess intelligence? I don't know if there's really a right or wrong answer to that one. Mm. Soup. Please craft soup. So we're both gonna starve. It's not good. Uh, what is that? Close the J check, the goal section. Oh, because we finished that. Some little classic machine name to honor his predecessors. From now on, that ship will be known as Astro Citizen Spaceship is property, or ASS uh, for short. That means he's here to stay, doesn't it? Fine. We'll follow the strange saucer, I mean Astro Citizen property, to his destination. I won't be present. I won't be pleasant about it, though. Crafting completed. Okay. I've regained some of my sanity. I no longer look well fed. I seem more competent all of a sudden. I mean, that's good if he does. Let's feed you. Oh, we can upgrade? Ah, uh, score armor. Sure, let's upgrade the kit. I don't know what it will actually do, but we can try it. Oh, we need to do this. Thus far, I've kept the shuttle in artificial gravity, but I need to see how well you and baby can adapt to zero gravity or weightless environment. The benefit of the weightlessness is that you can store anything anywhere. The, up the downside is it's harder to move around. Practice is mandatory, but if more than one person runs the zero-g test at a time, it will be chaos. Who do you want to test? Let's start with him. Yeah. Go from there. Create all items. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry y'all, I accidentally sh shook my desk. That was not on purpose. Baby passed the zero gravity test with flying colors. I stopped the shuttle's rotation and he swam through the cabin like a dolphin chasing a tennis ball. Oh, dolphins don't chase tennis balls, you say? You obviously didn't hear about the Astro Citizen Program's secret projects. They were chasing tennis balls all right and solving complex math, even performing musicals. All right, self-learned independence, <laughs> changing his own oil, okay. Count on his friendship, upgrade completed, modern first aid kit. Nice. That's good then. We'll soon be passing an unidentified floating object. Visual should be available any minute. There it is. No, that's a speck of dirt on the screen. The other barely distinguishable dot. Yes, that one. It's an asteroid of fascinating composition. If we broke a piece of it off, it would serve us well. It also pro projects energy. We could siphon its power. Uh, let's try it. Let's try it and see what happens. Kind of the mood of today. You gathered your tools and went out as we passed the asteroid. Things didn't go as planned. You didn't manage to break a piece off and instead were zapped by an unexpected output of energy. One of the tools you carried took most of the discharge. Boarded the mission to avoid further mishaps. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Let's recycle that then. Now that it got hurt anyway. Um. Yeah. <coughs> Playtime in progress. Playtime? Maybe he's practicing his chess moves. Let's see. Oh no, captains are not to be picked up, even dead ones. 
and put that skeleton back in the pilot seat. This young AI doesn't know how to handle the organic waste. Interfering with dead crew is disrespectful, but even worse, it's against protocol. We should get those dead aliens out of the cabin ASAP. Okay. See how this goes. I wish I had food for them, but I don't. Ah, he's outside now. That's just not designed for human hands, not only... But you got it open nevertheless. The secret was using your feet. Ah, cabin opened and skeletons floated off into space. His first word today, Captain. It was Captain. I wonder where he he heard that, Captain. Well, Fed, we're still friends. He's asking for soup. I mean, I'm trying. Now we can make more soup. At least one. Scary, though. Well, that's unexpected. Captain, there's cheese in the pantry. At least, I think it's cheese. I don't know how it got there. Did someone sneak it on board? Is there an infestation of alien mold? Was it the French? Desperate times call for desperate measures, Captain. We don't know the origin of the mystery cheese. Will you eat it anyway? Uh, for science? I guess? Probably like a terrible idea, but like, we might as well find out. So to eat the strange cheese you found in the pantry. Unfortunately, the cheese wasn't cheese at all. It was an inedible soap product. Oops. You and the crew are even hungrier than you were before. Aw, oh, man. That's no good. At least we were able to get a can of soup. Huh. Which I am going to give to you. Am mm -hmm. I starving too? Not quite yet. Good news, and I've got bad news. The good news is that using the airlock as a space toilet was a success. It's now packed full and ready to be emptied into space. The bad news is that the airlock hatch is jammed. If you don't fix it soon, our clogged toilet will quickly become an extinction level event. Um, we don't have duct tape, unfortunately. So I cannot do anything about that. Not good. Not good at all. Doing nothing about the airlock toilet was risky, Captain. Lucky for you, the door unjammed on its own. Yay, eventually. Probably because the odor buildup made it corrosive. Too bad about all the health hazards it caused. But then again, it's a 100% human problem, which makes it 100% yours and exactly 0% mine. Okay. Rude, though. Oh no, I've been hacked. The virus came in a transmission from the small asteroid. Um, taking over the flight controls and steering us away. Help, Captain, get it out of me. Um, intelligence, I'd assume? would be the way to go there and then we can't do any of that um that's so many let's recycle the mask i guess <laughs> this all seems like a bad idea we pledge plugged an emergency console into the hard drive to delete the virus, or so you thought. Captain, that was a power outlet. The short circuit damaged the system. It took me six hours and a considerable chunk of our resources to fix the issue. On the bright side, your mistake fried the hard drive instantly. The virus is gone. Alrighty then. Wonderful. Let's craft some more soup. There's more stuff outside. A satellite. This cabin must have drifted by intelligent life because the satellite just arrived to investigate. Her name is Sally. Where is your planet, young lady? Sally, the satellite, sprung a coolant leak. She won't make it home in her current state. We do not have anything to help, though. Unfortunately. And so I guess we will go. I feel like this is about to end very badly very soon. Very, very soon. We do not refuse to lend aid. That is good riddance, in my opinion. A satellite who leaves her orbit to chase a ship? Where are her engineers? Why are we talking about them like they're alive? So I am hungry, you are just normal hungry as well. Um, I'm gonna give you the food since we're captain. Oh no, captain, one of the storage lockers is jammed. It cannot be opened. It gets worse. It's my favorite locker. We'll lose access to some of your supplies if we do nothing. Uh, intelligence? Let's try that. Hopefully it'll work. You weren't able to unjam it. Aw oh, man. That's not good. And this particular system went haywire now. Everything is getting wet. You need to do something. We're gonna try intelligence again, but I don't know that's the right way to go. Gonna find out I guess. I was about to turn the shuttle into a space hot tub before you figured out how to stop it. Everything's wet. You are wet. The supplies are wet. Even I'm wet. Most annoying, Captain. 
The ship smells like a wet dog now, or at least that's what I am deducing from your faces. I'm sure this will be a lovely space trip story in a few weeks' time, but right now I don't envy you. Built in sea warriors, that's cool. <laughs> you are starving, which is not mm. good. I have no food. None of this is good. Doesn't potatoes. Um let's try agility. Maybe we'll get some food. Day 24, though. Hey, you got two soup. Yay. You think shot tomatoes into space? Okay. That's a thing, I guess. Well, at least we both can eat this time. This will help us. Can't do anything with here. Package floating through space. Yeah, might as well grab it. Let's find out what happens. Might be a terrible idea, but might as well find out. Yay, more food! <gasps> that is good. I'm complaining. Um, Russians finally. Jeez, super cool. New object discovered. Found something in a pile of space debris. An alien ration heating device. Yes, Captain, a space toaster. Perfect specimen. But I don't see what's cute about it. Captain, do you let him keep it? Uh, sure. Why not? I'm sure the game will teach me why not, but why not? <laughs> Sorry, calling it Captain. I'm asking multiple choice questions. There's certainly my programming. What's that? No, I'm not warming up to anyone. The thermostat is permanently set to 68 degrees. Okay, okay. Alright, you can have food. An Astro Citizen ID card for someone named Vladimir. I'm not going to try to say that. Um, there's no one by that name list in our database. Could there be someone living among us? How suspicious. Your only lead is that the ID was found next to a soldered shut vent. How will you solve this? I guess with strength, maybe? Might be a mistake. Hopefully I don't hurt myself. <sighs> oh, creaky noise. Unfortunately, it was just your back. Oh, no. That's not good. I'm badly hurt. Yep, that that's not good at all. Can we med kit you though? What is this? Captain, there appears to be an error, error. I'm broken. Please fix me. System error. Quick action required. System error. Please, Captain, do something. Okay, we'll use intelligence. That should help. Um yeah, I don't think I wanna worry about that. Um you're okay, huh. Hunger, you're okay. Alright. We'll save the soup for the second. Good morning, Captain. Thank you for fixing the error that made it difficult for me to communicate. You are quite a hacker, I admit. Well, that's a relief. Who knows what would have happened to me if it wasn't for you. Thank you, Captain. What's that? Astro Citizen property? Yes, I know the sky is black. Yes, I know all 10,000 digits of pi. Is there an end to these quarries? You remain silent. I mean, fair enough. This is, I should eat something. <sighs> it's a heart. He could, he could be the one to my zeros, the signal to my noise. I've been transmitting with an abandoned shuttle I spotted nearby. He has just agreed to meet us, or meet me, us. I meant us. You have to say yes, Captain. Um, he's shifting and has no crew, so he offered to share his resources. Just one problem: he's a communist. He believes we are too. He blinded me with his his thrusters and it just came out. He's not a bad shuttle though, he just wants us to take pride in the computations we do. Um... Alright, just to see what happens. Probably a bad idea, but we're still gonna see what happens. Only way to learn. Thank you for agreeing to fly to the abandoned shuttle and for pretending to be a communist. It means a lot. I shouldn't know. I should have known you'd make a terrible communist, though. When you approached shouting, Hello, fellow comrade, with a strong accent, he saw right through you. Do not apologize. You should be proud of who you are. The shuttle was so offended, he shot he shot at us. He was a civilian vessel, though, so he shot at us with random, non-dangerous objects. Look, I brought some of them in. I mean, that's good, though. But now we are super hungry. Uh, we do not have what we need for that. Great. Day 30! <sighs> I 
do feel like we're doing significantly better in this one. Like, quite a bit better. Nope. Tilly Stable continues to be our friend. I'm starving. He's hungry now. Oh, that's not good. New con contact added. Shows with nearby AIs. The poor spaceship's been mocked relentlessly. Blowing the bullies out of the sky. Uh, sure. Let's see what strength does for us. And actually... Finally craft more soup. Yay! Hopefully we don't just die first. That would be very unfortunate. After the ship's captains and questioned them about their AI's bullying of Astro Citizen property, but then the captain started bullying you. A smooth skinned human freak was particularly effective. Oh. Well, that was sad. Another one of those. It's a lot of print in there. Disturbed, Captain. You've reported hearing a child crying somewhere in the shuttle, but my sensors don't show anyone unaccounted for on board. It's certainly not stowaway children. This may be an auditory hallucination caused by the stress of witnessing a nuclear war. The other possibility is my sensors are malfunctioning. Oh, uh, yeah, let's search just to make sure. Let's give us food, and there we go. Yoon Baby tried to find the source of the mysterious ch child's cries, even though he couldn't hear them. But after searching every dark corner, you couldn't find anything. It was a stress-related auditory hallucination. I'm not surprised. When news start flying down on Earth and the space station exploded, your crew barely escaped with your lives. Yeah, I mean, that's... yeah, that's fair. Completed, though. So now we can feed you, finally. <laughs> we'll go back to more levels. Determine that our wiring might be at fault. Uh, let's try intelligence. Maybe. See how that goes for us. Hey, one second, y'all. <laughs> Captain, your frizzy hairstyle tells me you just got electrocuted. Oops. I guess that's not great. Do not have enough supplies. Can only recycle the phone. Your spots in your arms are a little, a little worrisome. How did I find, identify your affliction? We don't have a book, so can't really do much about it. We've made four good calls. <laughs> it's not a great number. Uh oh, she's very sick. It became worse. You tried to self diagnose, but clearly you're not qualified enough to do that. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, but we don't. Do we have a bed kit? No. So, like, there's literally nothing I can do about it. Zero anything. I understand your fed up. It's not earth food. I would advise you not to go down that road. Here, I have a useful program just for just the occasion. It's called Everything is Not All Peaches and Cream. Should help you focus your mind on different things. Uh, sure. I mean, it sounds like a bad idea, but I want to see what it is. Like, at least see what happened. Hey, it worked! <gasps> other than food... <laughs> we spent the afternoon talking about things other than food and then circled back to agree on the... on the many merits of tomato soup. Now, we should probably focus on surviving the mission at hand, what'd you say? Um, yeah, but we don't have anything. Error, negative, negative, negative. You hear that whirling? The crafting module is jammed. Astro Citizen Property tried to use it for something, but he won't tell me what. Could could he be making a bomb, or worse, two bombs? Fix the machine, Captain. Well, try intelligence, I suppose. Oh yeah, Captain, that's literally what he just said. Well, we'll see. Stay cool, die in space. Well, that's not good. Oh, our Captain is perished. Your life is over. Cause of death, starvation. This is the end of the line. You tried to remember the emergency override code for the crafting module. Up, up, left, down, right, up, up, up. You came up with nothing. The module is going to be jammed for the rest of the day. The master citizen probably blames himself for it. That may be because I told him it was his fault. I haven't heard a beep out of that ship since. You're still very mentally stable. I'm dead. Aw, oh, and captain dies, everyone dies. Sad, uh... We perished. But, I mean, we did okay. Could have been worse. Space whores. That looks terrifying. 
Maybe we're better off not landing. <laughs> Let's solve this, this dude out here. Okay, and then... So we got a new adventure. Missions. Dude, where's my oxygen? Turning on and Captain Man will have to uh, make some difficult choices. Reach the nearest planet, reach the planet with two or more crewmates, repair the life support system at least twice. It keeps going off. Space pursuit, a plague from outer space, star raiders, and then we have to actually finish some of those first. And then Voyager, travel experience, survive in your randomly generated supplies and crew. I just want to run around collecting things though. That part is fun. Okay, that's all of our records. Cool. Alright, well, I think that's where I'm going to go ahead and end things for right now. This isn't fun looking at these games and kind of seeing, um, revisiting what they're all about. Let me know if you want to see more, and I will see you all tomorrow afternoon as well. Bye!